What is this? Wait, they brought back Powerpuff Girls? Why didn't I know about this? This was bad? Wait, they added another girl? Oh, she truly was the per- I see. I know what this is, guys. I know exactly what this is. I know what's happening here. I, um, I think I know. I think, I think, I think, mm. I, I know. Now look into the live action Powerpuff and its pilot script that got Shut leaked. Shut the f Wait, what? Live? What are you talking about? They cut to them as teenagers now at the age of 17, where they wake up one day hung over. Yep, early in the episode, that's how they portray the Powerpuff Girls. Hung over, Buttercup dating a bunch of girls, oh cheating on her girlfriend, Blossom uptight, and Bubbles not so innocent and enjoying her oh my God, bro. fame of being a Powerpuff Girl. But as they're flying out of their home to go fight this giant swamp creature in Townsville, we get to see some of the other true colors of Professor Drake, or Professor Utonium, where he is commanding the girls to wear the exact same outfits that they did as kids, wear their hairstyles in a certain way, all because this a-hole dad is actually- STOP IT! Whoever it! Oh my god, go f*** yourself. We're gonna power through. We're gonna power through. Profiting off the merchandise. We're powering through. Powerpuff okay. girls holding licenses and wanting to make sure they keep their brand together. Not to mention, he's also on an off again, off again relationship with Miss Bellum. Dude, the what are they doing? What are they doing? Showed her face in the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. But once they arrive into town, to dude, this dude, this guy that we troll, this isn't real. Is this real? There's no way. There's no way this is real. Uh, is this real? Jojo is there with his son Jojo, who is fighting against the Powerpuff Girls and trying to prove to Townsville that they are frauds and that they shouldn't be declared heroes. During this battle between the Powerpuff Girls and Mojo Jojo, Blossom makes a mistake and ends up killing Mojo Jojo, leaving Jojo an orphan. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. From there, the city of Townsville gets together and decides that the Powerpuff Girls are a nuisance and should no longer be allowed to fight crime, ending their superhero career. We cut to 25 years later where we find out what the Powerpuff Girls have been doing all these years. Enraged by the ignoble end of the Powerpuff Girls, Buttercup saw okay, out Buttercup. Oh. She moved to a small town in Oregon, shortened her name to B, and joined the fire department, convincing herself that she could be as happy as a normal human hero. I thought you guys used ladders! This is like the actual script, like for real? If anyone asks, I did. Want to see me put out the fire with my ice breath? Maybe next time. Bubbles went to Hollywood, hoping to capitalize on her childhood fame after two- But they said this is Bubbles, right? Bubbles went to Hollywood, hoping to capitalize on- I could see her going to Hollywood. I could see Bubbles going to Hollywood. She seems like that kind of character. On her childhood fame, after two stints in rehab and three failed reality show pilots, she had pivoted to direct sales. Oh, no. I'm Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Unlike that boo boo knockoff Wonder Woman. As for Blossom, she attended an elite women's college in the Northeast, collecting degrees to cocoon herself from the harsh sting of the real world. It was effective most of the time. We're only halfway into the script, y'all. I can't believe this. Wait, so th this is real? This. First of all, as a Powerpuff Girls fan, only Blossom has ice powers, not Buttercup. Also, you have Yeah, get the f*** out of here. You have to put the sweetest Powerpuff Girl bubbles into rehab? What? What? But at 25 years old, it's kind of a significant age because at this age, they can now collect the trust fund from all the money they've gathered. Where Professor Utonium was selling merchandise and everything under their name, they can collect that money now, but they have to do it in person at the city of Townsville. In between here and the final act with some major twist reveals, I'm just going to play you some random scenes from the script. <laughs> Okay. Guys, okay. how can you turn down an evil recon mission, especially when said mission would be perfect for my new documentary, Bubbles is Back. Not to be confused by your other film, Bubbles on Her Back.
Blossom's <laughs> fine. I saw on her Insta that she has a boyfriend. I saw on her LinkedIn that she got promoted. And I saw on Facebook that she still talks to Grandma despite their political differences. <laughs> Coming back here is probably triggering for her. Why? Because she's the one who killed Mojo. I mean, moveon.org. Loss, wake up! Loss, wake up! I'll leak your nudes! That worked once before. But continuing on with the story here, as the Powerpuff Girls roll into town, we come to find out that the new mayor of Townsville is actually Jojo, Mojo Jojo's son, who keeps a pet monkey on his desk. So I guess this is the way they wanted to keep a monkey in the show, since Mojo Jojo was a human? At 20 years old, Jojo is the youngest mayor Townsville has had, but he's having trouble getting reelected, so he comes up with a scheme to release up, these tiny insects called woolly bears hold that- up, Hold up, hold up. You're telling me, you're telling me that, that, the, that the kid, the kid of the t Mojo Jojo, who was trying to destroy the city, they elect that guy to be mayor? You know, actually, I can see that. I, I can see that. I can see that, actually, in 20, 2024. I can see that. Yeah, you're right, actually. Okay, For, forget I said anything go ahead and can control any person he wants to use them in a way to rebirth the powerpuff girls help him save the day and that he can be re-elected mayor of course the powerpuff girls come together they save the day they defeat the bad guy and then we get into the ending of the pilot where they set up what the rest of the season will be about and hold on to your butts the first teaser is that wait 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 hold up hold up are these are what is what we're hold on wait what we're watching right now is not ai is this like actual leaks of like the production Holy fuck. This is worse than I thought. No way. What the rest? You sent me the script, dude. Do you guys want to read this on stream, dude? We should read this. This is the actual script. A cut to license plate, Bubbles 1, effects on the baby blue Corvette. Adult Bubbles, still wearing her signature pigtails, pops the trunk. It's full of Powerpuff Girls merch and a price list. Narrator v Vio. Bubbles went to Hollywood, hoping to capitalize on the fame that she had left. And after two stints in rehab in the field, <laughs> she announces herself to a pack of pa passing tourists. I'm Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, the real Bubbles. Unlike that Bobo knockoff Wonder Woman. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. We'll be about and hold on to your butts. The first teaser is that once the Powerpuff Girls are happy and cheering that they saved the day and are united as sisters again, we see Professor Utonium in his laboratory working on one of these woolly bear insects that control people, wanting to use these and experiment on other animals. The show obviously hinting that Professor Utonium is going to purposely create some of the villains in town to bring the Powerpuff Girls back so that he can continue profiting off of them. But the one that made me drop my jaw and go, really? Really? We cut to Jojo who is almost directly staring at the camera at his desk with his monkey saying I'll find another way to win re-election. We took them out once before. We can do it again. Right, dad? A damn monkey's my dad! That's freaking right. It turns out his dad, Mojo, is actually somehow the monkey. Let Looks like they somehow did something right and actually made Mojo Jojo a freaking monkey through all those twists and turns. It's really no wonder that this got canceled and the CW was like, you need to fix this up. They really went way too hard at being edgy and, and trying to be up to date. And why does it just feel like they're over sexualizing the Powerpuff Girls? Like, that's weird, man. That's fucking weird. In the updated version of the series, the titular superheroes are now delusional 20-somethings. Hold me back, chat. Hold me back. Can they, can they stop? Can, can, can they stop? Can they stop taking the things that I liked and ruining them? Can they stop? What is wrong with these people? These people are, these, dude, these people are fucking psychopaths. They're all psychopaths. Dude, these writers need to be stopped. This is ridiculous. Diablo Cody was really bummed. Live action Powerpuff Girls series got scrapped. We wanted to do something kind of weird. Yeah, no. You always want to do something weird. How about you do something that the fans want? How about you do, how about you do right by the fans? Shut the fuck up. 
You know what I mean? Like, guys, I'm sorry. I'm kind of going off today. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit off the rails today. But these people need to understand who they're making this for, and they need to stop at our expense. I'm so sick and tired of it, dude. They're literally. That's literally what they're doing. Is they're they're in, they're they're inserting themselves into something that other people love and they care about, and they're just like, yeah, watch me fall over this, and then they force you. This is like some, uh, like some. I, I I can't think right now. What's it called when like you, you you want other people to watch you have? F it's like that. It's like they want you to watch them. Like they want you to watch them like f all over like your your favorite things, and then they just want to look look you straight in the eye, look you straight in the eye, and just like no that like you have to watch it. Uh, dude, this is all of them too. This isn't just the Powerpuff Girls. This is like fucking Star Wars. Th th this is everything. This is this is, this is Star Wars, this is The Witcher, this is Lord of the Rings, this is everything. This is ev everything that we care about. You know what I mean? Like, they, they come in, they're like a little fucking parasite. They're like a virus. They come in, they come in, they, 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 they snatch away what you care about. Couldn't they just make, like, like a nice, like, wholesome hero show with, like, just, 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 just do the regular Powerpuff Girls, just do it, like, as a movie. And maybe it's like for the next generation of kids. You know what I mean? If it were up to me, this is what this is what a Powerpuff Girls live action movie would be. Okay? It would be they take the same they take the same thing from the Powerpuff Girls. They just do that again, but like, you know, with child actors and stuff, and it's for kids. It's for kids so that the people that were fans of Powerpuff Girls can now take their kids to see like this is the show I liked when I was a kid and I'm I'm enjoying it now with my child. Now I'm I'm, I'm living vicariously through my child watching the things that I used to care about, and now my child will care about it. What a f***ing concept, am I right, guys? Like, like... How does it feel to have lived long enough to see all of your favorite franchises go down in flames? Feels great. <laughs>